hey y'all welcome back to my channel you know it's jojo sam's cooking channel thank you so much for tuning in today if you have not subscribed to the channel as yet please be sure to subscribe remember to like leave comments down below and click that bell to stay notified whenever jojo sam's cooking channel creates and uploads another video also be sure to head on over to my first channel jojo sam and this is where i choose this medium to motivate and inspire you so head on over there do the same thing like share subscribe click that bell to stay notified whenever jojo sam creates another video and uploads it all right people so i'm having a nature valley sweet and salty and i'm gonna be cooking today some fish and rice and peas so tune in for that all right stay to the end Thank you so much for choosing to watch my channel. So in today's video, I'll be using some share branded basmati rice and I'll be using an estimated two cups. So here in my measuring cup, I measured two cups of basmati rice and I'll be rinsing or rather washing it twice in a stainless steel container. To add to my pot, I added 2.3 cups of water and then I used one third coconut milk as well as some red kidney peas. For one cup of rice, it's 1.5 cups of water, but since I was adding other things to this mixture, that is why the amount of water was shortened. So here I have my solution, it's now come to a boil. I will now be adding my basmati rice that was washed. I have stirred the mixture, so now I'll be adding some minor ingredients to enhance the flavor and the appearance. So I added a small quark of brown into it. I advise not to put much if you are adding, use your judgment call because too much browning will make it bitter. I also added some garlic. You can use natural garlic or powdered garlic, but for this video, I chose to use garlic powder in this segment. I also added some salt. I measured the salt by my judgment. There's no specific measurement. I just tasted until it was salty to my liking. And then I added in some butter. You can add whatever you like to your rice and peas. Is it, up, it is always up to you. So I'm now working on the ingredients for my sole fish filet. So I had some garlic powder, some smoked paprika. I'll also be adding in a little bit of salt and Italian seasoning for color and appearance as well and taste so now i check back on my rice it was actually done basmati does not take long to cook guys so be mindful of that i never had any parchment paper but there was some parchment bags for baking so i did a little bit of artwork and cut it out into paper so that i could bake the fish on it after which i made it out my liquid ingredients here I have some canola oil as well as my dried mixture. Now I'll be adding in my lemon juice just a little bit for flavor. I mix all the ingredients together and I stirred it and then place it on my fish. These fish actually don't take long to thaw they're really easy to work with i got these from walmart and these to be more specific are sole fish fillets so i took them out the day before when i buy them from walmart they were in individual bags that make it so easy to um manage other than having a hard time to break them apart so just to have a dressing to put over my fish after it's cooked I made some butter and garlic sauce. Not really of a sauce, but something just to coat the fish after it was done, just to retain the moisture and to add an enhancement of garlic flavor. So in this pot, I have 
one peg of garlic, a small one, which was grated, as well as some butter. And there you have it, guys. My fish is all done. It took about 7 to 8 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Every oven is different. Every cooking equipment cooks at different temperature. So be mindful of that when you're cooking. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching the video. And there you have it. This is my supper for today. I tell you for real, it was yummy. Thank you so much for watching. Love you. Jojo Sam cooking channel appreciates you for watching be sure to like share and subscribe